Hi Scorpios! Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is another love reading for you. I really hope this video finds you guys doing really well and safe and how healthy and happy and um, all the good stuff. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at you and your love interest. What happened? What's the current energy? What happened in the past? The potential outcome? And of course, we're going to always get you some advice, okay? This will not resonate with every Scorpio. Please don't force it. Take it how it resonates, okay? Scorpios, you guys, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit that subscription button. Join the family. Be glad to have you. All right, so let's see what's going on between you and your love interest, all right? All right, the current energy between you and your love interest is... The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Is that kind of bright? Nine of Pentacles. All right. What happened in the past? The judgment happened. The potential outcome is the Two of Pentacles. And your advice, my love, is the Death card. That is your card. That is Scorpio energy. And the underlying message here. The underlying energy is a queen of swords. Ooh, this is air. Uh, ah, shoot. I'm drawing a blank. Gemini, <laughs> Libra, Aquarius. Sorry, queen of swords. Okay, this could be someone you're dealing with. Just saying, somebody who don't play around, someone who speaks truth. They don't take crap from anybody. They will cut you off. Or this could be somebody did cut someone off and someone had some words to say. I don't know. All right. So the death card is your advice. We're going to clarify this at the end. In the meantime, between the two of you, the nine of pentacles, things could really be uh, pretty stable here. Um, the two of you may not be in a commitment. You could be still single, but, you know, you're dealing with each other, dating or whatever, seeing each other. Who knows? Um, so we're going to clarify all. Oh, I'm going to put these out of frame a little bit and focus on, this is the current energy, this nine of pentacles. Yeah, I mean, you guys probably really have yourself together, or this could just be the energy of the relationship. Like, it's just pretty solid right now. Uh, money's good. You guys are good, you know, secure, feeling all that stuff. Okay, why is the nine of pentacles here? Or... Or, sorry, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Ooh, the Four of Cups. What is the energy of this Nine of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles. So something's going pretty good. However, the Four of Cups... Mm, somebody is not entirely satisfied why the four of cups oh ten of swords so what i'm getting scorpio some someone could be single now right after there was an ending someone could be single but they're not very happy even though they have like a new start and it's a very promising new start new beginning i feel but as a single person i don't know perhaps they don't want to be single, you don't want to be single, or you're just still feeling some type of way about things ending. Why the Ten of Swords? Okay, yeah. So there, things are, have changed, and maybe you didn't expect it to go this way. Um, I'm going to pull one more card on that. Why the Will of Fortune? Because that could be things, even after it ending, something is working out for you going yeah ten of cups I feel like you're doing really good while you're single you know what I mean like I feel like things are happening for you but you still feel some kind of way about an ending or or, or this could be like someone betrayed you right and you you are still feeling this not you're not happy with how things ended but good things are happening for, I mean, come on, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ten of Cups. Current energy. I think things are going really well. I think things are going really well, but you are still kind of, yeah, focused on 
this ending or this betrayal or something that failed could be the relationship what is the energy of the ten of swords hmm the three of cups okay i don't know if you're dealing with multiple people something ended or this could be you just dating and socializing again i, I don't feel like you're in a relationship like i feel like you're single and maybe you were dating and it didn't go well but i wouldn't i wouldn't be too messed up about it because you have some really great energy you know like you could be really happy in your life things could be really going your way working out for you i don't know let's see what what happened in the past because this is the current energy i feel like you're fine but still dealing with something okay i don't want to keep saying it over and over again because I, I just see that all right so you have the judgment card this is the past energy judgment card is about rebirth renewal awakenings improvements making decisions making judgment calls and these are not small uh, these are not small things these are big deals these are life-changing decisions or you know epiphanies and all of that good stuff so why is a judgment why is a judgment I'm sorry why is a judgment card here for the past energy for Scorpio okay there's an ace of pentacles um okay why the ace of pentacles maybe you had to make a decision to start something new ten of pentacles you know, hmm. getting pentacles for you um it the intention is for this to be a love reading but it doesn't have to if it registers i'm sorry if it resonates with you as a career or money or job or anything else just take it how it resonates okay that's just my intention it's not up to me <laughs> you know it's whatever messages spirit feels need to be brought to you um that matters so ten of pentacles i do feel like you were making a decision on it could be on a very stable situation a situation that you know had money like you and your partner could be could have gotten together because of money for stability purposes um for you know just so you can have something more solid why is the ten of pentacles here and this is in the past like maybe it's all about money why the ten of pentacles mm, okay Ooh, the empress reverse three of wands no i'm sorry two of wands eight of swords i do feel like in the past i feel like this connection here was all about money you know what I mean? It was all about us being stable and what we're driving and you know what I mean? But somebody, and it could be you, Scorpio, I'm just going to read it as if it's your energy, who wanted love. It's like, that's great and all, but I need something else other than us driving, you know, the nicest car and living in a great house and wearing nice clothes. Like, I, I feel like there's a need for love, that you, a need, a need for um nourish like nurturing someone to nurture your heart to be affectionate with you to be gentle with you and not just buy you things you know because that put you in this very stuck energy like this is all great but i want more and i don't think you were getting more so when you're not getting more but it's like not a bad situation you do get that eight of swords you feel stuck and you just become like what do i do two of wands at this crossroads what do i do i feel stuck here like you're great but i need more from you and i don't want to leave you because you are you know you're good to me and blah 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 right we, we i've been there you guys you know we've been there it's like that person who has so much of what you want but they don't have some very important things and it's like i don't know what to do with this so what's going to happen here? So that was in the past. I feel like you you may have ended it with this person because they they weren't giving you the love that you needed, right? Kind of getting that. Potential outcome is a two of pentacles. Juggling, 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 juggling. 
weighing the pros and cons, still thinking about it, because your current energy, I feel like you were still thinking about it, you were still feeling some type of way about how things ended, or maybe even read the reason why things ended between you and the other person, even though you were doing good, you were well, like you're fine on your own, it's like, I think, it's almost like you, hmm, like you didn't need this person to help you financially, like, you could you could do well on your own. I think you needed their love, okay? Why why the two of pentacles? For the potential outcome. Maybe you want to communicate with them, talk to them. Why is the two of pentacles here? Okay. You're thinking. You could be healing, but this is also thinking, taking a break. Maybe from thinking so much. Why the four of swords? Why the Four of Swords? Moving into calmer waters. I feel like this is you like wanting to feel better, wanting to go in a direction that's better for you, um, moving on, trying to move on, like healing. Because these two cards are very healing. And maybe you're struggling with that. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to be okay with it. Why the Six of Swords? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you are. I think you're trying to find a way to heal from this ending. Because I don't, it's like I didn't want to do that. But you know what? You have to do what's best for you. Straight up, Scorpio. You have to do what's best for you. You know what's best for you. If you have to walk away from somebody because they're not showing up, you know what I mean? <sighs> it's so unfortunate. Those are those hard decisions. I mean, you have the judgment card. And I said, those are big deal decisions you, you're making. And I feel like you made the decision to, you know, walk away from somebody who was cool people and who, you know, brought something but didn't bring enough. Okay? So I do feel like you are going to still be like in this healing process, maybe still kind of juggling a little bit, struggling to heal, maybe still thinking about it. You know what I mean? But there's still a healing element. You're going to move into maybe not, you know, something a little bit more peaceful in your mind. I think it's just getting over it. Okay. So what is your advice? You have the death card as your advice. That is a Scorpio card, but we'll see. Um, so the death card is pretty much telling you to embrace change because this is about transformation, things changing, things ending. Um, don't be afraid of it. Don't, you know, don't run away from it. If there's something trying to transition or change, let it, okay? Like, let it change. There is a transformation here. Allow things to change is what I'm getting. Let's see. Why is the death card here for Scorpio? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay, did I get a card? I sure did. Eight of Swords, just feeling powerless or stuck. I think you are stuck in your head. This is your thoughts. This is not you physically. Even though physically in this card, she's all tied up and she can't see. This is all mental. Um, I feel like you're not stuck. I, I think you have to embrace this change. There's something about your decision that maybe you were hesitant about. And I think it's because when people are good, like, if they're not, like, super messed up, jacked up, you know, no good slums, it's, like, it, yeah. Sometimes we question if we've made a mistake. Why the Eight of Swords? I don't think you make a mistake. I think you did what you felt was best for you. I think you self-love. I think this is all about you doing what was best for you, for your life. I think you practice self-love. You know what I'm saying? I, 
I don't think there's anything. I, I see no fault. I see no wrong in what you have done. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups? I saw the Two of Swords. Why the Queen of Cups? Oh my God, Spirit. Why the Queen of Cups? Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, listen. This situation had a lot of unfortunate circumstances, okay? And you, and you very you were privy to that. I, you saw that, you knew that. And I think you you put yourself first. I, I mean, I see you put yourself first. And the Page of Swords is telling me that you just face the truth about it. The truth is, you know, because the page is like facing truth, speaking truth, learning truth. Um, and I feel like you did that, which that's honorable. That's that's real self love right there. That is real self love, and and I see that you're doing well. So don't beat yourself up too much. I feel like you did what was right for you. If things change, then go back to them if they will have you. If not, then you know what time it is. You did the right thing. Scorpio, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Good luck with this situation. Good luck rolling solo and hopefully you, you things work out with this person or not. Um, you find the person that will give you what you want, what you need. Okay? Alright guys, I'll talk to you next time. Mwah. Deuces.